Welcome back, everybody. It's Nick Gashler. Um, and today, to continue our 2022 film sessions, um, I'm going to be debuting um, and telling you guys about my favorite prospect thus far, uh, Darion Kendrick. And Darion Kendrick is the Clemson corner, former Clemson corner who transferred to Georgia. Um, he was rated as like the fourth best corner before he went back to school last year in 2021. He's a senior this year um, and he had a really good year. Not a lot of people are talking about him yet. Hopefully he will rise up the draft board and I think he's an early first round player. Um, and like I said, I, I think of all the players that I've watched this far, Darion Kendrick impressed me the most in terms of where he's at and what he's able to do. Um, um, where he's ranked at and what he's able to do that is so um, I think he's pretty underrated he kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Kelvin Joseph boss man fat um, and this first play kind of illustrates uh, his instincts and his instincts are one of the best uh, one of the best traits in his in his repertoire um, and we're gonna see it right here he's gonna break on a screen and then f uh, see this this slot receiver tight end type uh, run across his face and he is super quick to catch up and um, pick it up so we'll see we'll watch the play here first um, so he's kind of, he's he's out of here He's going to come back, right? He sees the screen uh, kind of develop because number eight is going to come back this way. So he's already starting to break on that. But then he sees um, um, this this guy. I, th I think he's the tight end. I don't really know. But um, he's going to see him run this breaking route, and he's going to be able to break in on it. Um, obviously, you'd like to see a little bit better footwork, and that's something that we talk about with Darren Kendrick being a weakness. But here is the instincts of being able to read the the screen and then come in to defend the uh, to defend that um, tight end that's running that slant, as that is kind of his responsibility here, since four has this flat and potentially the screen if it if it ends up that way. So I just really love this play because it's a good illustration of his instincts of being able to read the play. Um, here, see see the ball thrown. Watch uh, DJ Ugalele in the backfield. I probably butchered that. My bad. But um, see him in the in the back filled with his eyes going this way he's going to break on the screen see this guy and break on and, and end up breaking on that that's just good change of direction good instincts from Darion Kendrick here um, I, I liked that play to open up things and Darion Kendrick is a player who can play in both man coverage and zone coverage and that's why I have him so highly valued he's one of a few players in this class that can do that Derek Stingley's another guy that can I think I feel comfortable playing him out of man and zone uh, Kendrick's another one of those guys here and we're gonna see it here a really good uh, a really good example of his ability in man coverage he's gonna get a target here but does a good job of staying next to his wide receivers hips and then closing the gap and forcing him towards the sideline um, where he has more space to defend right so we're going to see him um, come here. He's going to get straight as the as the play starts. He's going to get into his back pedal. When he feels that the, the route is going to be a go, he's going to break up field. Notice his hips are pointed this way. Um, usually if he's playing zone, his hips are pointed towards the sideline. So that's a good indicator for me to tell whether he's playing man or zone. Um, in this case, he's playing man, and he's going to be able to stick to him. The speed here is also pretty good. Um, Darren Kendrick's a guy who can is underratedly fast. It doesn't really show much on, on like we don't know that he's fast from the media, but if you turn on the tape, it really shows that he's fast and he's able to quick make downfield. And then you see um, as the ball is kind of coming out this way, Kendrick is able to break on that kind of run towards the sideline but also towards the receiver to limit that space and limit that separation um and come up with the pass break and we'll watch the cartel view here um just so I, I really like that Darren kendrick is that good in man coverage and notice when we go back um that was just a bad throw out of bounds but he was able to break on it and and limit that separation at the end there notice that the notice throughout the rep he doesn't really use his hands right um darion kendrick is comfortable with using his speed to keep up with receivers he doesn't have to be physical um but he can also be physical at times and we'll get into that later on but uh just a really good man covered snap for me um i like that target there and i like his ability to break on it and uh make a stop there and thus far we've talked about highlights and darion kendrick's instincts as well as his speed uh this is a kind of a play that that shows both but also shows that uh, something he's going to need to get better on which is tackling um, here we're going to see Darion Kendrick 
Um, he should be man up on number 10. Uh, Clemson does a little thing where they're going to run number two underneath, and then 10 is going to come in on a slant. That's designed to get uh, 10 the necessary separation to go make a play upfield. Darion Kendrick recognizes that really early and is able to make a break on that really quickly. Um, he's very good at seeing. like He recognizes the route almost immediately and breaks almost at the same time the receiver breaks, um, which is really good to see right, right there. And then he's going to be able to have that closing speed. Let's take a look at that real quick. Um, as he, he is right here, he's going to close and then be able to try and lay a hit out. I, I get his intention was to lay a hit to let the pass go, but he doesn't do that. 10 is able to hold on, and then Darren Kendrick needs to tackle better. Um, I, 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 instead of trying to lay that hit to cause the incompletion, just take the three yards instead of the potential uh, five to seven yards that he got out of this play. Um, if you're going to be if you're going to be there, I want you to go low and wrap up and make sure he doesn't get any yards after the catch, rather than trying to cause a pass breakup. Right. He wasn't in good position to do that anyway he was behind the pass um just something something that i feel like he could get better on especially his tackling uh, he has a little bit of a smaller frame which makes it hard for him to do that but still in coverage i love the instincts i love the speed and i love the ability to recognize this play and go make a play on it and here we're going to show a rep where Darion Kendrick is working out of zone here i believe this is a cover two or three play depending on where the safeties rotate to but um anywho you're going to notice that Kendrick is playing zone because his butt is to the to the to the boundary right. Um, his hips open to the field, um, allowing him to potentially get cover more ground and get down into his deep third um, or deep half if he needs it. But what he does really well here is reading this receiver's route and recognizing that nobody's there to cover that. He's the cover guy for it and being able to break on it with good change of directions, good hip fluidity. Um, and as as number five here, the Clemson quarterback rolls out his way. He's going to come up. Um, and make sure that receiver's covered not to not to let a pass up, right? And the ball is out by that time, but um, if the ball is well-placed and to this receiver, Kendrick would have the ability to be... He, he broke on it so well that it, it likely would have been an incompletion. He would have at least contested the pass. So I like the instincts there, and I like the change of direction, right? Um, he's going to drop into his pr what looks like to be deep third, I guess, if uh, this guy's over here. Uh, center fielder here and then we have Kendrick deep as well um, he recognizes the hit, the receiver that's closer to him in his zone is going to break outside he's going to need to cover that does a good job of doing that and that's an underrated ability in zone some of these corners that specialize in zone don't do that um, and Kendrick is one guy in particular that is able to do that good change of direction I like the hip flip um, and I think that overall this is a good play that demonstrates his athleticism as well as his prowess in zone coverage um, in specific right we've talked a lot about how Darion Kendrick is as a uh, as a coverage corner but a lot uh, an underrated aspect of being able to be a good cornerback on the next level is being a run support corner and we saw Patrick Sertain was a really good run support corner and he got drafted highly Derek Stingley uh, one of the best corners that we've ever seen coming out of the draft um, is so good not only because his coverage ability but he's complete he can support the run Darion Kendrick is willing and aggressive um, and able to support the run. I just need to see tackling improvements, right? Um, here he's going to be out here. It's going to just be a, a bolt is what we call it, uh, where the quarterback has the option to keep it depending on what this end do, does or pitch it out to to the running back. In this case, he's going to pitch it out to the running back. S uh, Kendrick, excuse me, is there to fill. Um, and I like the form here. It kind of goes low and is able to get there. I just like to see him follow through a little bit more you kind of see he stops to catch right about here i'd rather have him come and be the aggressor and be the hammer and get through that that that, that play and at least stop him in his tracks because you know the rest of the red helmets in georgia are going to come help him help him out uh, obviously four is there but just a good job from kendrick of being able to be aggressive fill this hole um and be there to make that tackle um shows that he's able and willing to make a play against the run and we talked about Kendrick being able to use his speed to cover the, to cover routes earlier, and he can do that, and we'll see against the in the Alabama game that he's able to do that. But he's also able to use his hands. In this press man coverage example, you're going to see Kendrick right here on the bottom of your screen. Uh, engage with his hands is the first thing that he does, right? He's going to get ready to punch, and then does so, gets hands on, slows the receiver down in their stem, which allows him to kind of gain control of the route. He's ahead of him, um, and as he moves down the field, he continues hand fighting and being physical to continue to slow the the receiver down in the route um and then obviously the ball isn't thrown his way and it's just a simple go route but if this receiver were to break inside it'd be really hard for him to do so 
because Kendrick is so far into him and holding that inside leverage. If he was able to come back, or he, if he had to run a comeback here, um, Kendrick would likely feel that and 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 because his hands are on, and then be able to react according to that and again you see it's hard to see in the all 22 uh, view but Kendrick's eyes are towards the quarterback he's watching the play right there um you can see the head turn really um we'll get it here right there he, you can see his his eyes are towards the quarterback to make sure the ball isn't coming his way that's good awareness good instincts um just a really good press man coverage rep locks this receiver down at the bottom of your screen up really well all right, moving on to the Alabama film. Uh, this is the SEC championship rather than the national championship. So um, we're going to see Darion Kendrick go, go up against Jamison Williams a lot. Williams is a very fast receiver. Um, this is how Darion Kendrick does against speed. And, and this first play is just going to be a simple go route. Um, Kendrick does a good job of being able to keep up with Williams. Obviously, he is Williams is faster, so he's going to end up getting a little bit of separation. But for the most part, throughout the, mo the majority of the route, Kendrick is, is, is stride in stride with Williams. Um, and very close to him and his closing speed makes up for it and he's able to he's able to close down the separation that Williams creates later on in the route right so first off Williams kind of has a hezy move at first uh, Kendrick stays patient uh, and he reads the route when he recognizes that Williams is going to break up on the go he's going to flip his hips um, good technique good patience and press man and then be able to run with him he kind of loses steam right there and if I'm Kendrick I want to put my hands on Williams um, just to slow him down a little bit but he he does a good job of being confident in his speed and being able to run with Williams um, up until this point. But the ball, it's hard to see the ball. It's at it's out of bounds. I watched on the broadcast view since it's a little bit clearer. But for all 22's sake, um, as the ball's coming his way, Kendrick does a good job of being able to recover um, and have that closing speed and burst to uh, close the gap against him and Williams. You see that right there. Um, and being able to be physical and, and not let this pass happen, right? This big pass downfield happen good job from Kendrick being able to keep up with that speed and whatnot and we talked about Kendrick's patience at the beginning of that route of being able to wait and see it develop you see it again on this route he's going to be a top here in this bunch um, he's going to take Williams man on here but what he does well is he doesn't backpedal too much just a couple of steps to give him a little bit of a cushion to see what Williams is going to do and he sticks there. He stays patient. Uh, when he sees Williams is breaking in, again, he doesn't bite on the on the outside fake that Williams does here, right? You're going to see it right there. Um, Kendrick does a good job of not biting on that and then being able to break down the inside. Good instincts and good uh, ability to feel out that route and see where it's going. Um, and then he's going to cover him inside. He has the, he has the advantage there because he's going to be able to, if the ball gets thrown, undercut that route and potentially get a pick um but just good coverage from kendrick all all around we we love to see the targets from corners but sometimes um it's more valuable to see just the coverage snaps and see how they cover this is a good example of that of being able to be uh see that technique in action uh which allows williams to get covered in this in this play and if you weren't sold on Darion Kendrick's instincts before this, uh, this is going to be the play that should sell you on him. Again, against Jamison Williams at the top of your screen here, he's in off coverage. Um, we're going to see him play man on. And Jamison Williams is going to have to improvise a route. Uh, or it's a design route that's just with a really long fake, either one of the two. Uh, Kendrick does a really good job of being able to read that and defend it well, right? We're going to see him again stay patient at the top. When he sees the in-breaking route, the hitch from Williams, he's going to bite down on it just to make sure nothing happens. And then when Williams comes that back that way, which is a little bit of a sudden move, Kendrick sees it really well and is able to react to it really well. Um, and that just really showcases the, the instincts and there you are, coverage. I mean, if, if, a, if a DB whiffs on that, Jamison Williams is wide open for this touchdown, right? Uh, Kendrick is not a DB that's going to do that. He's going to be able to use his instincts um, he, right there to break on it. And then again, uh, twice in one play to be able to find that improvised route and cover it well. Um, again, also sticks stride for stride with Williams well right there. I like that play. In some plays, the defensive back gets beaten honestly. And this is an example from Darion Kendrick of getting beaten honestly. But what I do like about that is he's going to finish with a good tackle. Um, Williams, I believe, is up at the top of the route. I'm not really sure who that is. But he's able to run a really good comeback route, successful. Um, he's going he's gonna to sell it for, for, for Kendrick here. Um, and Kendrick is able to turn up field and get ready to run the go route. He breaks on it. Kendrick is behind, reads it. 
Um, Bryce Young is going to get the ball to this guy, and Kendrick is able to be there to wrap up the tackle. Obviously not an ideal play. You'd want him to break on that faster, but um, the fact that he's able to finish the tackle um, is good, but it also shows us that he can get beat. Um, his feet kind of are a little sloppy, a little behind him here. Um, not a terrible example, but just a little nitpicky thing that I noticed with him. Um, but otherwise, good tackle, good finish um, all, all around. You do get beat sometimes is the, the point of this play, and and um, that did happen here with, with Kendrick. Another rep with Jamison Williams. He's going to draw a pass interference here, but I just wanted to take a look throughout the rep of what he was able to do. Um, be able to mirror the, the route really well and, and cover it for the most part until the end of the play. And I think that might be number seven, actually. But um, either way, at the end, from broadcast view, which gives us a little bit clearer of a picture, uh, unfortunately, the cartel dude cartel view doesn't really do that uh, he just kind of grabs his hand at the top at the end of this route here um i don't really know why because he was in really decent not terrible position to be able to contest that pass but um what i do like about it is early on in the route uh kendrick is going to backpedal he's in off coverage obviously um and this this receiver kind of makes a cut inside he's going to mirror it but then uh be able to flip his hips and have change of direction ability to to again mirror the, the receiver downfield um and be able to put his hands on and be a little bit physical unfortunately he just gets too physical at the end you can't have that happening um but overall i do like this play and 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 kendrick does for the most part have his have his helmet towards the quarterback looking towards the quarterback right there um and he just kind of loses track of where his hand is and that's going to end up being a pi but again the really good part about this is his mirroring and his changing change of direction ability within the route. Um, that's a pretty good job right there. And in the last play here against Alabama, uh, we see Darion Kendrick again use his instincts and work out of zone coverage here um, and just do a really good job. Even though the ball doesn't come to him, he's able to recognize it and shut it down so it's not a op potential option for Bryce Young. Um, He's going to be right here at the top of your screen. He's in zone coverage because he doesn't take that guy up. It seems to be cover two over the top with uh, number five down here and then the safety. He should have hook to flat. He's a little deep for hook to flat, quite frankly. But we're going to see this guy come out and get ready for a pass. And Kendrick is able to see that really well. Uh, break on that. And there you go with the speed. Um, being able to run a nice little sprint right there to get downfield quick enough to be able to either make a play or make a tackle if he has to, uh, if that ball gets thrown his way. So good job from Kendrick uh, finishing the film session up right there with good instincts um, and shows that, again, he's still working out of zone coverage. He's fluent, especially because this is cover two. He plays a lot of cover three, but this is a little bit of cover two here. Um, so good job from Kendrick. I like that play, and I like that he showcases really everything that I like um, about Gary on Kendrick. So my concluding thoughts on Kendrick, um, obviously he has his weaknesses and he also has off the field issues, which may be an issue for some teams. Teams are going to look into that, do their background and whatnot. But on the field, Darion Kendrick is very, very good and very underrated. I think, as I said before, he works out of both coverage schemes and he's very comfortable in both. He knows how to play in both. And, and wherever you draft him, that seems means he's scheme versatile and he can play either man or zone or a little bit of both. Um, he's a good run support corner. I know we only got one example of that, but elsewhere in the tape, you see it pretty consistently of him being able to come up and make a tackle. Uh, I like his tackling form to improve, and I think his smaller frame kind of hurts him, but as a whole, the aggression and the willingness is there, which means you can teach the tackling and, and um, size as it comes. You can't teach aggression, right? Um, but Kendrick has that, and, it, and it's a very good trait. Um, he's instinct instinctive. He's one of the most instinctive corners I've watched. Um, he reacts and reads stuff really well. Um, and, 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 and that's what I like about him. Um, I think for me right now, he's my corner too, uh, behind Stingley. I don't really see anybody that's as consistent as he has, uh, has a more, as much experience as he has. Sauce Gardner is close. I really like sauce. Um, and we'll get into him as I get all 22 on him, but, um, for me right now, Kendrick is going to be my cornerback too, just cause he's more polished of a player, more all around complete of a player, uh, that you're getting on day one. So I just wanted to make that video. He's super underrated. You should know his name. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. We're going to keep pumping out 2022 content, whether it be film sessions, whether it be 
whether it be uh, talks and, and rankings and mock drafts and whatnot, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep growing. So if you haven't already, make sure to follow my Twitter at GDN underscore scouting as well as the Instagram is also at GDN underscore scouting. I do a lot of stuff on Instagram. So if you have that app, make sure to be involved. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.